And we're now just four days away from Election Day. Already more than 33 million people have cast their ballots for the midterm elections. But that's not stopping the big names from both parties from hitting the campaign trail. CBS 4's Deborah Alfaron is live in D.C. this morning with more. Deborah, good morning. Good to see you. Good to see you too, Maribel and Nicole. And it may be tough for any of us to believe that there are some undecided voters out there, but that is exactly what both sides are banking on, hoping that these messages that they're getting out there will make people who are thinking of sitting this one out turn up on Tuesday. Last night, former President Donald Trump again hinted at another presidential run while campaigning for GOP candidates in Iowa. I will very, very, very probably do it again, okay? He also repeated false claims about the 2020 presidential election and urged his followers to monitor the polls next week. If you care about election integrity, volunteer as an election worker, poll watcher, or poll challenger, we need you. They're going after your right to vote. President Biden took his message that democracy is on the ballot to New Mexico and California. We're going into an election and you have all these people saying they don't accept the outcome of the last one and they're not guaranteeing they'll accept the outcome of this one. Across the country, state election officials are trying to reassure voters that next week's results will be accurate, while they're also urging patience because those results may not be final right away. When we put those tallies up, uh, we need them to believe in it. Uh, they can't have a doubt, and because if they do, our republic has fallen. There will be dueling rallies in Pennsylvania tomorrow with President Biden and former President Obama on one side of the state and former President Trump on the other. And also both Senate candidates will be out in Pennsylvania. They have campaign events today. And speaking of Pennsylvania, there's a new Marist poll that is clocking Democrat John Fetterman at a six-point lead over Republican Senate challenger Mehmet Oz. You know, the balance of power in Washington could actually come down to just that race. Of course, there's a lot to be done before that and a lot of votes to be counted. So we'll have to see. Back to you, ladies.